Today we're going to be having a look at cookies. I ran out of snacks in the pantry and needed something to nibble on, so I quickly whipped up these and they are so ridiculously easy. The recipe was a gift from the lovely Rosie. She made them the other day, they're absolutely incredible. I asked her for the recipe and was amazed by how easy they were. It's actually her grandmother's recipe, who very sadly passed away recently. So this is an homage to her and my way of helping her live on through her exceptional cookies. The recipe makes nine, which helped a lot. So you can basically do three by three on the baking sheet. But obviously you can multiply that up however you want. Firstly, pop your oven on 160 degrees centigrade. That's 320 degrees Fahrenheit on the fan setting. Ingredients are simple, 75 grams of flour, 75 grams of oats, 75 grams of sugar, and 75 grams of unsalted butter. Then just chuck in a tablespoon of golden syrup. Also, if you want to chuck anything else into the ingredients, like chocolate chips, raisins, Smarties, anything you want, now's the time to do it. Mix everything together in the bowl, and if you find that the butter is a bit too cool and isn't mixing properly, bung it in the microwave for 10 or 15 seconds on maximum heat, and the butter should soften up beautifully, enabling you to mix it together by hand really easily. Roll them into nine equally sized balls, get your baking tray and flatten them in a grid of three by three, ready to go into the oven. Now take your cookies and pop them in your preheated oven and hand the dirty bowl to any small niece, nephew or child you've got knocking around. If you like them crunchy, then over 10 minutes until they're golden on top is perfect. If you like them gooey, then under 10 minutes till just the edge has gone brown. The most important thing is don't overcook them or they will be like iron. And they've reached the desired goldenness around the edge. Take them out and slide the baking paper onto the wire cooling rack. And if you want to do another batch, lay another sheet of baking paper out and go straight again in the oven. They will feel soft, but don't worry. As they cool, they'll harden up. Don't be tempted to put them back in the oven, because as I said, if you cook them too much, they will be so tough, you won't even want to eat them. You might as well use them as a frisbee. Technically, they last for about two or three weeks, but realistically, judging from my house anyway, they're not gonna last more than a couple of days. They taste amazing. But if you are gonna store them for a present or something like that, pop them in a tin, something airtight, keep them in a cool, dark place until you want them. And that really is all there is to it. If you've got any questions, chuck them in the box below. And if you've liked the video, please, please, as always, click like and subscribe.